president's words matter when he sells a big well, thing like Well, Ed, that. again, all I ask of Fox and everybody else is that to provide the context. But he didn't Did provide that context back then. There was, there has been essentially five years of debate about this. The problem now, that five years of debate involve promises that turn out not to be true. Britt Hume is our Fox News senior political analyst, and that's just a fact, that that, that guarantee, in his words, that you will keep your plan, period, was not true. Now, we don't know whether he knew at the time or he didn't know at the time, but the question, Britt, is do words matter? Do they matter here? Well, of course they do, and this valley of the shadow of death through which the president and his health care program are now traveling uh, looks like it's going to uh, continue for a while. Um, it's not good either way, Megan, you look at it. If you look at it, he didn't know. There's a list of people as long as your arm who undoubtedly did. Um, and so if he didn't, that looks terrible. If he did know, and I think suspicion is increasing in this town that he had to, uh, that looks uh, even worse. So either way you slice it, this is ugly. Even if he didn't know at the time that before Obamacare was passed, you're telling me there's a chance he didn't know in all the months and years after as Kathleen Sebelius is passing? I, you know, I mean, is there no, any I'm, chance that Kathleen Sebelius passed the IR, in the IRS and the regulations and uh, they can see that all these policies are about to be canceled and he still doesn't know he's out there in 2012 making the same guarantee? No, I'm not telling you that, Megan, because I don't buy that. Um, and, I think, but, and I also would add this. Go back to 2009 when this, this explicit promise was first made. Passing this thing was a near thing. I mean, there literally was not a vote to spare. And there were all kinds of, um, of a parade of horribles being cited by critics of the plan, mm -hmm. Republicans in particular, about all the things it was going to bring about that were negative. The administration was eager to try to deny as many of those as possible. And people losing their coverage in this way was one of those things. So you can see the temptation to fudge this would have been very strong and was. Mm -hmm. And the president then made that explicit guarantee before the AMA and now we're in a situation where not only did he do it then but he kept doing it right through the 2012 campaign as you've demonstrated on this broadcast tonight. And it seems like Megan, like every hour another quote from the president turns up post passage closer and closer to now in which he repeated the promise again. It's so this doesn't look like right it's going to get any better anytime soon. It's on whitehouse.gov right now. The Think question, though, Britt, is, is whether this affects him politically, or Democrats for that matter, who well, backed this law, who all voted for it, despite the fact that most of them hadn't even read it. Well, of course it affects him, and that's why you see a number of them calling for a delay in the implementation of the individual mandate. That's what that signifies, where Democrats are beginning to, are beginning to jump ship on this. And it will affect the president uh, unquestionably going into next year. What the administration has to hope for is it can some kind of ride this out and that the website finally gets up and running, people begin to uh, obtain policies on the website uh, and are satisfied with them, and they get a subsidy or whatever, or they find the price to be acceptable or whatever, and that that, that process takes hold and, uh, and, is a, and it is carried out in sufficient numbers that it begins to overwhelm the negative stories that have to do with people losing their care and not being able to log onto the website. That has got to be the administration's hope. But the key point to look at that, Megan, is that that doesn't look like it's going to provide any immediate relief. Well, will it or won't it? Because they won't give numbers right now in terms of how many people have signed up. And the question is, well, why won't they? Well, Britt, all these millions of people are getting cancellation notices right now. So what choice do they have? They have to go on this, this website and, and try to find an alternative. So the administration knows the, the numbers stink now, but if we can just hold out as the, all these insurance companies start canceling these 10 to 15 million people, oh boy, the exchanges are going to start exploding. We're going to look really good. Well, that's only true, Megan, if people get on the exchanges and find a policy that they can afford and that, and that they find desirable. If people get on the exchanges and have sticker shock, as has happened in some cases already, and they, they find the, 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 the policy is unaffordable and a terrible burden to them, that's going to make this situation worse, not better. Yeah, and I mean, it just doesn't, doesn't change the fact that the promise, the guarantee, wasn't true and now there's a question about credibility in a way you know there's we've seen it before we saw it on Benghazi we saw it on the IRS we saw it on the DOJ spying and and one wonders whether you know at some point the, he's held accountable for statements well, that seem untrue I'll give you a quick last word 
Well, this, this last word on that would be, Megan, that rem remember now, we're beginning to see mainstream media outlets on this story like mad. Stories are breaking on NBC News and on ABC News and other mainstream outlets that were, were not involved in, 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 in digging into Obamacare. Yeah. Uh, that's a sign that, that something has changed, that we may have reached some critical mass on this man's credibility where it is being doubted in quarters where it wasn't before. And if that proves to hold for a while, that's bad news for the administration. Britt, thanks for being here.